to another Tech Tuesday vlog, not done on a Tuesday, but that's by the by. Uh, I've been sent this digital voice recorder and asked to do a review of it. The link is below. Um, the first thing to notice is it's extremely small. Let's have a little gander in. Now, for contrast, in the past, I've used the Zoom H4n for recording gigs. In fact, if you look at my Live at the Haymakers album, which you can get on Spotify and Apple Music, it's only a stream-only album. Um, I sort of released it in lockdown. You can go over there, you can have a listen to it. Some of the music you've heard on today's vlog, or will hear on today's vlog, and also some of the things I've used in previous songs, were just recorded on this. Now, it's a bit clunky. It's a great recording device. It's got this little stereo pair at the top. Uh, this has got a stereo pair as well. Um, it's, but look at the size difference, it's phenomenal. Now, I know you might say, well, why don't you use a, a mobile phone to record? You can use your iPhone, but the question is, I'm not comfortable leaving my iPhone on a table in a club or, you know, in a jazz club or in a restaurant, whatever, wherever I'm playing the gig. Um, I trust my audience, of course, but, you know, there are less scrupulous people around. This is £20. You um, can sit on a table and you can hear it recording. So what I propose to do is I propose to set this up and then I'm going to play some music for you in the studio. And then later on today, I've got a gig. I've done a, an outdoor garden party gig in Cambridge. I'm going to pop this along in my case and I'm going to record the rest of the gig there for you. We'll mix some of it down. We'll have a listen to it and we'll see how this compares to this. I mean, this, like I said, I did a whole live album on this. What does this one, how does this one compare, which is what we're interested in. So, I mean, look at the <laughs> width difference here. Um, I mean, you, you could literally put that into your top pocket uh, and off you go, you've got something there to record uh, gigs. It might also be useful, I guess, for recording conversations and stuff like that, for like a dictaphone type thing for business. Uh, who knows? Let's set it up, let's have a look. This is me talking in the studio uh, just before I do the final little bit. Um, I don't think it works very well as a music recording device, um, but it does work, hopefully, uh, in terms of a dictaphone and actually recording voice. It might be useful for lectures and things like that. Uh, but anyway, this is me recording this bit. I'm going to go back to camera. So there you go. Not much use as a music recording device. It's not going to replace the H4N from Zoom, but it's a lot smaller. Uh, one thing this also does is it works as an MP3 player. It might be useful for you for that. For me personally, it's not going to be something I'm going to be using. Um, I want audio quality there. Perhaps there's a way of getting better audio quality. It sounds like it's very compressed um, and not kind of, you know, the EQs all over the place. The, the, um, there's no way of adjusting the gain. So I think possibly with a few software improvements, this could be a lot, lot better. Uh, but it doesn't cut the mustard as far as recording music goes. But possibly if you needed something for recording, certain things might be useful. And let's face it, it's not particularly expensive. So any more Tech Tuesday things you want me to do, just let me know. Uh, I'm open to all suggestions of different things. Uh, if you've got gear to send me, by all means, I'll do my best to try and review it if I think it's relevant. Uh, but stay tuned. Very special saxophone review coming very, very soon. <laughs>